Hello and welcome back, I'm Lincoln, and today I'm going to show you the relatively new snapping tool in Nomad Sculpt. I just decided to do a video about this because no one's really been talking about it and showing you how to use it, and I don't really know if too many have really been playing around with it and trying to use it. So, it's the new snapping tool for the gizmo, and it's not the one you're used to using where you can change an object in degrees and flip it and roll it. This one, you can actually move an object in space along the gizmo axes, X, Y, and Z. And you can also easily use the clone button to clone an object and get it to move at a certain amount of space. So, say you want to put one millimeter cube in one spot, skip two millimeters, put another one, skip, put one millimeter. You can ramp, make it a little more random than using the array tool. So let's get into it. Hey, before we get into making Pac-Man, I wanted to stop and thank everyone that's been subscribing to the channel recently. I just reached a thousand subs and I want to thank you all so much for subscribing. My channel is growing and I really appreciate it. It's been really fun to do and this just really encourages me to keep moving forward and making more content. I have a lot of things I want to do with 3D printing, sculpting, painting adding motion and light to objects that you make that you sculpt and print so look forward to all that content soon all right let's get into the tutorial all right first thing we're going to get rid of this fear and we're going to add a box now we're going to turn on wire and i'm going to come up here and bring this all the way down now you have the option of also coming in here instead doing the same thing but with this new menu item it makes it a lot easier to do that now Okay, we can leave the wireframe on there if you want. It doesn't really matter either way. Now, the main thing with this is we need to, well, let's see, let's go and validate. We need to go in and add a reference image and I already have this in here. And if you ever need to download one in here, you just come in, tap on the image and hit import and you're done, super easy. I usually bring them in from photos. All right, now, the big trick with this technique is use your finger pinch to adjust the size of your cube. Don't use the gizmo. If you use the gizmo, this isn't going to work right like you want. So I'm going to use my pinch and bring this down. Now you probably won't be able to see that. So I'm going to fix that right now. Come up to paint and let's change the paint color and paint all now it's still hard to see and that's because we have the overlay on so i'm going to turn turn that off and oops which one is it turn this off all the way so now it's a little bit brighter so it should be easier to see you bring the exposure up yeah there you should be able to see that really well on our screens okay now the cool thing of this technique is we'll bring a snap now this is the new snap option that I was talking about. This is the one you're used to where you can rotate a cube, but we don't want that. We just want this. Now, if we snap this at half, we're going to clone one. And you can also do that up in here in the menu. And I'll show you in a second if you've never done it. But you'll see there it snaps at half of a millimeter instead of one. So we'll leave it right there because that's, that's fine. It's a full. All you have to do is come in here and change this to one. And then every time we clone or every time we come in here and clone, we end up with one millimeter snap. So it's super convenient. And you can see that, you know, it is a full, nice, perfect snap. So we'll go back to the front. And the other good thing about this is it doesn't really matter too much if you're lined up perfect your background image in this particular case is just for reference now if you want to get this to snap and stay we'll come in here and we'll go to add and add view now with the view this is saved we'll go ahead and save it and just update yes it doesn't really matter it saved it as it was as soon as you opened one in but if you do make a mistake and move you can just go to next or you can come in here it's all moved up hit view and it'll snap to your view again so if you didn't know that's easy way to do this okay now 
Um, let's see if we have, let's do, so I'm not sure if this will work, but we'll try it. We're going to clone this one real quick and clone another one. And then we're going to come in here and select all these boxes, clone, and I'm not sure. Yep. That'll work. We can clone that again. Just makes it a little bit quicker. So I'll go, I'm going to go through here and time lapse this because it's all the same thing. And then I'll show you at the end how to change the grid color and put an eye in it. So stick around to the end here just a second after the time lapse. Okay, we're back. So that's a quick and easy way to do that. You can see how I was grabbing groups of it with a select tool, and then you just have to hit the gizmo tool to get it to snap in where you have the clone option again. Okay, so if you look at that, now we have a nice 3D Pac-Man. Now, if we want to, the cool thing about this, let's get rid of this because we no longer need the background image. Cool thing about this is you haul, you have all individual blocks now because they're all, even even though you were cloning them in groups, they're still all individuals. So right here, we can paint these black. And I'm gonna get that one pinned open. You know, you know, you know. Do this one a white. Paint all. And now we have Pac-Man on both sides with the eye. All right. Now, the last thing, if you want to get this to, you can completely turn the grid off if you want, because so we can come up here and you can completely turn the wireframe off if you want, and obviously down here too. But if you want to leave it on, but give it a little bit different contrast, and the same one with the gear icon, come down to the wireframe, and then you can change the color and give it just a little, it'll still have some definition for pixels, but it'll be a little less drastic. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thought this would be a fun way to demonstrate this new tool, Nomad Sculpt. If you guys are liking these videos, please like and subscribe. And I thank you so much for all the subscribers I've had recently with having a thousand subs. Thank you again. All right, I'll see you next time. Thanks.